Fuck Red Lee. <laughs> I will not view. No. <laughs> no, I'm not finna do that. <laughs> but I tell you what, Jim Lampley has once again. I don't know. Does he try to like rewrite history and just hope the years just just cloud the minds of the people that they would forget? You know, he he wants to live this persona as if he's this clean cut guy when Jim Lampley is probably as dirty as anybody in the game. I mean, remember him at ABC? Well, you guys will probably don't remember him back in the 1980s. Jim Lampley and his wife, well, I'm sorry, his anchor woman, who he was having an affair with, Bree, who was also married, they both were sleeping with each other while working together for years. Lying to their spouses about what was going on until they finally decided we're going to both file for divorce. That's Jim Lampley. So let's start right there because this was the start of the creation of Jim Lampley. Then, through rumored infidelities with younger women, he goes out, of course, and blames Floyd Mayweather for the Ray Rice incident, blaming him for Pacquiao because all of a sudden HBO is in the hole. You see, this is what all of this is about. HBO ain't had a fight on in 10 weeks. You haven't seen that in about 20 years when HBO has went this long without having a fight on its network. When the last time have you seen that show of his, The Crap Game? And then he calls Floyd a, a woman beater and talking about domestic abuse him and then bring this lady on. When she do she they, do that lady even know she's sitting next to a woman beater? In two thousand and seven you were charged for the New Year's party when you're a twenty some year old girlfriend told the police you were drunk and high off smoking marijuana. And then you start banging her head against the wall in the argument. Then you ran from authorities. Then they caught you, brought you in. Then you made bail and went back over there when you were told not to, trying to get the witness to change her story. I mean, this is Jim Lampley, ladies and gentlemen. Adulterer, woman beater, liar. Alcoholic, drug user, Jim Lampley. This is the guy y'all throwing in my face talking about what he talking about, Floyd Mayweather. Who is he? Everything Floyd has been accused of doing, he didn't did it. <laughs> or he's been accused himself and have done a whole lot more. So for this person to be calling somebody out and saying this and that, and I can't and I'm applauded by his stature and sticking up for Ray Rice and all of that when he's out of the sport good ridden when you are out of the sport we will rejoice because you have done nothing you have been an atrocity to the sport you're totally top ranked bias we get it okay we understand top rank basically runs your program so you have to kiss up to them we get it. And what you're not doing and you're thinking these antics of yours is going to help push a fight and make a fight happen, it's not. Nobody's going to bow down to you. When you're out of the game, Jim Lampley, because you're so non-existent in the game anymore, you're just tarnishing your image, holding up the seat for some other young, experienced commentator to take over let Max take the reins. You don't want to let him take over. You still want to hog the spotlight. When your time is passed. Larry's gone. Nobody's there. You're still trying to hold on to the last bit of light you got left. 
let it go. And the picture you see is the picture that I kept out of the hands of TMZ when you did have this case going on in 2007. Because I was there. This was two weeks before you went and had your case against this woman. And you were 57 then. So now you're in deep in your 60s. You know better. But you still the same guy. You were in the strip club with us before. You forgot I used to be in San Diego, Roger Bernardo, about 10, 15 minutes away from where your girlfriend lived. Did you forget that? Did you forget how you thanked me, almost got on your knees and begged me for what I did of not turning that photograph over to TMZ? And that was two weeks before your case even took place? You forgot about that? Oh, the alleged cocaine use? You forgot about that? Let's sweep all that under the rug. So you got alleged cocaine use. You've been blamed by her for marijuana and liquor mm, that's amazing that's amazing that you can look at Floyd Mayweather and pass judgment you see for the boxing fans out there now this is what we're talking about people like that the agenda of HBO this has nothing to really do with Jim Lampley. Jim Lampley is the, the tool that they're using to voice out their opinion. These are the people that's hiding behind in the shadows. And they don't want to be seen making these statements. So they send a puppet, Jim Lampley, the program managers. And they want to send their agenda base through, them, through him so he can take the lashes. Jim Lampley knows. He, he don't care. He knows what he is. He's a full-fledged liar. He's been lying his whole life. His whole life is a lie. So a person like that is not going to be affected. They contradict themselves in everything they do in life. They have no statures or morals. So for him any word fly out of his mouth you can't really take any weight to it you know it's nothing it's like it doesn't it doesn't hold any merit cuz he's a glass of a man he's just a puppet and this is the problem that you have in boxing people will hear Jim Lampley and then they come blow up my email you heard Jim Lampley? You heard the show? One well, of HBO is bogus. Jim Lampley, he going out there. He forgetting 07? See, people are not dumb. They're going to put all that together real quick. Especially people who watch my videos because I've talked about this already. If you remember the Carcino Strikes Back, I've already we, we went over this. We know what Jim Lampley is. But here's what's important. Do Jim Lampley know who Jim, what Jim Lampley is? <laughs> and the answer is yes. He, he's very content with the fact that he's a liar. You know, accused alcoholic. Strip club addict. You know, this, this was him. He had a midlife crisis and started dating a girl that's younger than him. I mean, not younger than him. I mean, she's younger than him, but younger than his daughter. And that's just one girl. I mean, there's been many girls. This is this is Jim Lampley. This is what he does. He's a piece of crap. He knows it, but he's comfortable with it. He's like, look, I'm going to hell. I know it. But let me enjoy this ride on my way down. <laughs> so 
anybody holding Jim Lapley's word as something of merit, you're just agreeing with a person that's like that. So anything you say about Floyd Mayweather, turn and look at Jim Lapley and say, Lapley? Is all this true? Did Carcino save you? <laughs> so, ask him. If anybody knows him, ask him that. Why did this photo didn't get the TMZ? But you know, you know what? It just might now. Let's see what happens.